Hello everybody, uh, here to talk more college football. In this case, I am actually here to talk, and now I looked at all the conference, I was looking at all the conference championship games, and I was looking at, you know, the ones, man, I'm going to watch this one, I'll watch this one, and I was watching all sorts of LSU Georgia stuff, because not only am I a Syracuse fan, I'm a college football fan, so I give my opinion on other college football teams. And then those teams' fans can come to my videos and say, Well, Syracuse sucks! Well, yeah, and the Pope is Catholic. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't have an opinion. And I'm always going to speak my opinion. You can tell me about how Syracuse sucks in the comments section. All you want, that's perfectly fine with me. Doesn't change the fact that Jake Fromm is a garbage quarterback. Absolutely terrible. Um, and I'm not sure why more people don't talk about that, you know. Because I watched all this LSU Georgia stuff because I plan on watching that game. I plan on, and I was looking at, you know, all the highlight videos and just things that that fans of, J of, of Georgia have said about Jake Fromm. And I'm surprised that there's a very big section of Georgia fans who think Jake Fromm is good. And I equate that to the fact that it really has not cost Georgia big time. Now, I have watched Jake Fromm play some good games. Like, I watched the SEC title, Alabama-Georgia, in 2018. That was a great game by Fromm. Fromm played a fantastic football game. Uh, and Fromm has tended to play his better football towards the end of seasons. But if you're looking in terms of like a, a title-winning quarterback, a title-winning offense, Jake Fromm has been awful. He's had several games where he does not complete 50. If you're not completing, if you're completing only or below 50% of your passes as a quarterback, in my opinion, that's just not very good. Um, and when you're leading an offense that has, I mean, Georgia has looked really, really bad on offense at times. And a lot of that speaks to the conservative play calling and nature that Georgia has. You know, I know that Kirby Smart is, you know, kind of a conservative, defensive minded coach. And, you know, and I kind of deal with that with watching the Buffalo Bills. You know, we're not, I don't think the Buffalo Bills under Sean McDermott are ever going to be a team that's got an overwhelmingly good offense. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, how the New England Patriots offense, not not this year, the Patriots offense isn't that really great. It's their defense, but, you know, the level that their offenses have reached or the level that, that you know, the Denver Broncos are under Peyton Manning or, or the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, we're never going to have that kind of, you know, game-changing offense. It's going to be behind defense. And that's kind of what Georgia is. That's their identity. They like to play smash mouth, grind it out football, and that's just kind of how they play. But there's going to be a, there comes a certain point where you have to be concerned about offense. And Kirby Smart does not come off as the guy to me that's concerned about offense. That explains why you let a guy like Justin Fields go who's now lighting it up over in Ohio State. Um, and Georgia's had an issue with quarterbacks forever now, and they finally signed one and they let him go. All in favor of Jake Fromm, who for some reason, I've read things that this guy's going to go for in the first round of the draft. I wouldn't pick him in the sixth round of the draft. This guy would be lucky if he goes in the seventh round. He's not that good. Because you can, what exactly does he do pre-snap that makes him so good? He can change a, a running play at the line of scrimmage. That's what Georgia does. They run the football. They're a running team, and they don't have some kind of complicated passing game. So why why all the accolades for Jake Fromm? The guy's not that good. He's never been that good. He has never been anything elite or anything to talk about in Georgia. He's not a player that, that looking back, you're going to be like, oh, he's one of the all-time great players in Georgia history. There's no way you can look back and honestly think that. I just don't think you, there is a way. 
possibility. He's simply not that good. I'm to adjust myself there. Simply not that good. Uh, I don't know what kind of traffic this video will get, but it, it's an honest opinion of mine. I don't think he's that good. Um, I don't sure. I'm not sure why everyone else does either. So, yeah, Jake Fromm, not that good. Uh, Georgia needs to move on from him pronto, but but who, who knows what? Who knows who what they'll bring in? They don't really seem like they're interested in that kind of thing. So. Um, Georgia will probably be like this for a while. Going to be, I'm not sure that they'll ever break through and win the national title or break through and win the SEC against like Alabama. They'll probably win the SEC every few years or so, but I just don't see where they're ever going to win any national titles because you got teams like Clemson, Ohio State, LSU. LSU, you know, you could argue that Georgia's defense is as good is as good as LSU's offense is good. But LSU's or Georgia's offense is just as bad as like LSU's defense. And you got to be you got to be able to score. Excuse me. Hmm, excuse me. You got to be able to I'm sorry, I'm very tired. You got to be able to score with teams like LSU, with like Clemson, who have offensive weapons, you're not going to shut down those teams. You're not going to shut down teams like LSU and Clemson. You're just not. You're going to have to score some points. You're going to have to score some points. That's all I have to say. Uh, Georgia needs to get themselves an offense. Take care.